Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the Cats and Pinko YouTube channel. Today we're going to be comparing our handmade metallic watercolors to some store-bought metallic watercolors that you might have yourself to see if this is something you would be interesting, interested in purchasing for yourself. Um, and I'm Brendan. And I'm Cassie. And let's get into it. So the palettes that we have that are store-bought are ones that I think are pretty popular. So this is the Pearlescent, I believe it's called a watercolor palette. I got this at Michael's, I believe they might sell it at Hobby Lobby. Um, it has like 21 shades and it's like, like that. It's pretty big, it has like clear plastic lid. And then, do not talk about that one? Um, the other one we have is the Koi's. This is their Metallics palette, as you see it comes with all of these ones and then it has some regular matte shades in it. Um, this one, I believe they sell at Michael's, they sell at Hobby Lobby, I mean, they're kind of like quit anyway, they're kind of yeah, like a brand name. Um, this, I don't know, I think the palette itself is kind of expensive, but you can usually find them on sale, which is good. I think it's like a $50 palette, to be honest, but, um, and then we have these ones. And this is just the Jean Davenport Glitzy palette, and, um, these two right here are the metallic shades, and we'll get to our opinions on those in a moment. But the shades we have from our own collection. Um, we're just using dot cards just so we don't waste our actual stock. That was dirty, I don't know why. Um, so we have Clipso and Aquata, which are from a duo that we are going to be releasing at launch. They're both duo chrome shades. It is Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor, which are three dot cards from the Harry Potter collection, which we're going to be doing at launch. And then to go with that, we have Loyalty and Cunning, which are also from our Harry Potter collection. So this one would go with Hufflepuff, and this one would go with Slytherin. Okay, so to activate any metallic watercolors, you're going to want to take your watercolors and stuff them out. We'll just start with this. And you're going to want to take a pipette. Or you could use your brush, but I'm just gonna use a pipette. And I'm just gonna go over here and get some water and activate it. So I'm gonna do this shade and then I'm gonna put a little bit on our Ravenclaw dot card. And if you buy a dot card from us, they are gonna look like this. These are the ones that we're gonna give out that are going to be given out for free samples. But these are the ones that you will buy if they're a little nicer. These won't have as much paint on them for the sample. This is just one for us. And so yeah, they're a definitely a decent size, um, so if you don't have the money to get a full pan or a half pan, you can purchase one of our dot cards. And once we have our, our site launched, then we'll have that link down below. Um, yeah, we'll include that on our link tree. We at this time don't know when our website will be launched, but it'll be within the next few weeks. So I'm just gonna um, activate the shades that look like shades that we have in this particular palette. And I guess we can do this, do this. And Brennan, do you want to do it for the activate the two metallics that Jane Daddy for and then couple in the corner? And just to be sure, we will be including a free pipette in every order in case you do not have one. It just look like that, I guess. I have a gold to show you, but we will show you the coin coins. Uh, we do a little. Yeah. I'll do these. I know. I'm not going to do these. Okay. So, um, I'm going to start by showing you the beast of the sky. I'm going to start by showing you, um, just some of the store-bought ones. We have a piece of black watercolor paper, the piece of white watercolor paper. There's a hair that was disgusting. I apologize. So I'm gonna start with the dark blue, which can be comparable, possibly we will see, to our Ravenclaw. So this is it swatched on the white paper. It's not very pigmented on the white paper. Um, it is very sheer. And then on the black paper, I will swatch it again. I will say these are very creamy. Uh, it is a little bit better, but I would still say that it is pretty sheer. And we have let it sit for a few minutes. And I am really scrubbing my brush in there to try to get as much pigment as I can get. 
and again I'll do the Slytherin comparable shade. Um, I also said I don't know about the binder and ingredients in these, but I can tell you our binder is made with honey and glycerin and gum arabic, and it is, we only put enough, just just enough binder to bind the paints. We don't put extra binders or fillers in our paints. They're just binder and pigment or fillers. And then I'm just gonna do the Gryffindor shade. This one seems like it could have a little bit more pigmentation. So yeah, it's just not that very pigmented. It doesn't come with that much paint in these pans either for the pearlescent watercolors, which if you do want to purchase, I will have links down below just to be completely transparent with that. Yeah. So that's for those three. Um, and so I want to show you those compared to our formulas. So I will start with our version of a dark blue, which is known as Ravenclaw. On our website, which you can see is way more pigmented. <laughs> um, it is a slightly different blue, but it looks better on the black. I think you can see it a lot better. And these are not like we're doing things. We're doing everything live on camera just to show you. Um, I haven't tried other handmade glitter water or metallic watercolors, but I think they're probably all pretty good if you want to buy some now and you're seeing this when we haven't launched yet. Um, next I'm going to take Gryffindor, which I think it honestly could even be the same pigment, but again, way more pigmented. I really like this color, I think it's really beautiful, it's really pigmented. And if you want it to be completely covered, all you gotta do is do a second coat. But I would imagine that, um, sorry about that, my phone. I would imagine that it would take way more, way more coat than the pearlescent watercolor. And then for the Slytherin, this color, I will say, I was really a little worried about it when the pigment came in because it wasn't the same as it showed up online. But it is a beautiful Slytherin green, it turns out, which is super nice. Um, they're all super creamy. They're super easy and nice to work with. They layer beautifully. And again, this is just way more pigmented. Which, no offense to pearlescent watercolors. If you own these and you like these, these ones, use them. Use what you have. But I just think that they leave a lot to be wanted, a lot to be desired compared to our handmade. Do you want to do some comparison with that? So following up with the Harry Potter ones, we're gonna do the two other shades. Um, so I'm gonna zoom over in because I'm gonna come out. This darker gray shade over here. These ones. I've honestly never used these ones. So the white paper. And then we're gonna do it over here on the black side, which actually doesn't show up that well. Oh yeah, it's showing up on the black side on the camera. Alright, so we're going to go in with this darker shade and then we are going to go in with the lighter shade of grey. Shade of gray. And swatch it over here on the dark side. It does show up on the dark side. It does show up on the camera, but it's coming up. And then do those shades. Alright. And then going in with our dark cards, uh, I'm going to go in with the first one, which is Loyalty. Which, 
um, which you can see shows up a much darker shade of gray, black. Um, I mean, the shades aren't exactly the same, but you get the gist of what's happening. And then over here on the black side, And then we're going in with the silver shade, which is cunning. And over here on the white side, as you can see, um, it's showing up a little bit better than the other one. They are slightly different, of course, in their tone, but as you can see, there is a visual difference. We can go in over here on our black side again, um, which again doesn't show up too great, but you see what's happening. Okay. And that is the shades Cunning and Loyalty. And then we did Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. And so, and that is just a comparison to the Parallax watercolors to our homemade for the Harry Potter collection, well, some of the Harry Potter collection. And, uh, you want to show that? Yeah. All right. So, what you're going to see now is a swipe jump in time. We just have to go so we can switch the papers around so you can see, but we're going to show you a couple more watercolors. Okay, we are back, and I went upstairs to our little office area where we make our paint just to get the final colors so I can show you the rest of the um, Harry Potter collection. Oh, I'm gonna just wet a couple of the colors. Pretty wet them. Um, so I got, actually, do you wanna do clips in the water first so that I can let those in? Yeah. Okay. So everyone's gonna show you clips in the water real fast. So this is the two duo set and then we are gonna be comparing these to the Koi metallic watercolors. Um, so the two shades that we're going to be showing it to is this deep blue and then that purple shade up there. So I'm going to first go in with the purple shade up there for Calypso, which Calypso is a um, duochrome color. So I don't think these will exactly look the same, but you'll get the sense within purple. Watch it over here on the white side. And the white paper, if you're curious, is Arteza Expert Watercolor Paper. And then the black is a Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. And that is the purple shade, and then, and then I'll go in with this blue. See that over here on our white side. And then do the same thing over on the black side. Here. 
and this is also a duochrome color. You can see that one over here on the white side. Those two shades go battle up against the koi metallic watercolors. You can see the difference between the white and the black. Okay, now I'm just gonna finish out our Harry Potter collection. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna start with Hufflepuff, which is just this yellow color. Oh, I do the other ones first. Right? I forgot how to do my video. Okay. So I'm gonna take the yellow, which I think is closest, which is from this koi set that we were just using. Which again, they feel very nice. They're just not quite as pigmented as other watercolors. So I don't know about this one, so let's see. Okay, so I actually really like the koi metallic. Oh, I do shades. like the koi metallic. Um, I have that's the palette I do own from metallic. I know actually quite a bit to mix with my other shades, and I gotta say they actually work pretty well. So this is the koi yellow on the white paper. And then we will just do the koi yellow on the black paper. I think it shows up better on the white paper, but it still shows up decent on the black. And then for the other two shades, which are going to be the Ravenclaw and Gryffindor shades, I'm going to start by showing you the Jane Davenport equivalent. Oh, oh my dad, no, this thing. Um, these are the shades Flirtatious and Alchemy. I have to all to my dad, which is fun. Which is fun fact. Um, so I'm gonna take Flirtatious, which is a known color not to really show up. Watch reviews and stuff. Oh, it actually does show up today. Hmm. Who is she? That she is like one of those shades that you really have to like break down before it will actually show up, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> a watercolor from my a man a face collection sent Jane Davenport like a looking oh, whatever. Uh like a mass email complaining about this shade. I've never had it do with it. Oh it's not showing up on the black though. No offense, Jane Davenport, but <laughs> we still love you. We love you. Flirtation shade is the best shade. Now I'm gonna take um shade alchemy. Which I actually do like this shade. It's a really good shade. It's not quite what our um, bravery color is, but you know, it's similar. Like it's not, I, don't, I don't. I'm not trying to say it's worse. I'm saying it's not the same color. It's it's a different shade. Yeah. Like I guess I actually I actually grab that metallic shade quite a bit. I really like that. I one. actually do really like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with our color Hufflepuff, and I didn't have dog cards with these three, so I just went up and grabbed. These won't be sold, obviously, but just um, I just grabbed a couple half pans because you can always make more half pans and dog cards, but I'd rather waste a dog card. Okay, not that this is a waste, but you know what I mean. So. I'm really want to scrub the pan when you're doing a metallic watercolor because they just tend to not come up as much. We tried to combat that by using a honey-based binder, but you can only do so much. So there's our yellow. It's a different yellow. I will give them that. It's yeah. definitely a darker yellow, mm -hmm. but I still do think it's more pigmented than the Koi. But I still think the Koi is a great option if you can get it for a great a good price. Um, any of these, if you can get them for a good price, I just think they're all a little bit pricey. Like the Jean Davenport palette, only because of two metallics, like $30. Yeah, those are the shades. And, yeah. And the cool, yeah, that's a, usually a $50 palette if you buy it for the retail price. If you buy it on Amazon, it's probably cheaper, but like at um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You usually find them on sale for at least $25, which is pretty decent, I guess. Um, Plus it does come with the nice this one like. Oh, because of those those are really cool, I think. I don't use them very often. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's not the black. So then we are going to take knowledge, which is our second um 
Ravenclaw color, which is Pete. Nice bronze color. So yeah, I'll go along with that if you already get one of the duos. And I think this is a really pretty color. Um, yeah. It's pretty pigmented. It's not our most pigmented shade, but I think it's pretty pigmented. Good. And then, if you're wondering what he's using that little cheap little like artist loft necessities brushes that we mentioned in our brush favorite but um yeah it shows up decently on black paper i think it shows up way better than that one but um so does everything so literally no offense to jay that before the products are good but that flirtatious shade is not the best i think i'm shocked it's coming up brown because i've been using that shade for like months and it's literally clear in my palette <laughs> I took a pair of like safety scissors and scraped off the top. I don't know. Oh, I did that too, and it's clear. Oh, so maybe don't trust that color. I mean, I like it because I use it as like a clear shade, you know, like mixed with other ones. But hmm. nice to see what it was supposed to do. Next. And then yeah, this is Bravery from the Gryffindor duo. It is a gold. It's pretty good, I think. I'm a fan of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, yeah. It's supposed to be more of a gold. That's kind of a yellow eagle, as you can tell. And then, sorry, I'm like not doing this on camera. Um, in the black, I think it looks nice. So yeah. Um, we just wanted to make this video, not to say somebody's better, somebody's worse, but just to compare your options. And just, you know, kind of give you an idea of how the watercolor metallics perform, you know, ours, yeah. yours, in general. So if you think that, if you already have one of these palettes, you can kind of see how they compare if you've used them in real life. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> um, so thank you for watching our video. Um, we will be linking the palettes down below if you want to go buy them for yourself. Um, we'll be putting our link tree down below so you can go check out all of our social media. And if at the time you're watching this or launch, you can check out our site and see these colors. Um, the, yeah, Harry Potter is supposed to be there. This one's a limited edition set that we're doing, so it might not be. It's a very limited edition, but yeah, um, <coughs> it might still be there. This was just a fun video to show you guys, you know, playing around with metallic watercolors a little bit more. Um, and we hope you guys enjoy. Okay, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.